So would you like to find out which is the better, the NVIDIA or the Pictory to make stuff directly with artificial intelligence? So both platforms offer powerful tools for creating engaging videos, but which of this better suits to your needs? So let's find this out. So the first thing you wanted to do is to focus into the comparison inside NVIDIA and Pictory. So usually what we do, is speaking about the two contenders, is speaking about the ease of use. So first up, let's talk about the ease of use. Now the NVIDIA and Pictory both offer user-friendly interfaces with drag and drop functionality. However, some users in the video transfer to be more intuitive. So with a wider range of templates and customization options. So the very first time that I'm in here into NVIDIA, it's going to be asking me to add, for example, like a topic. And here into the topic, you have the detailed instruction of what you actually wanted to create. For example, I go for a YouTube explainer uh, about the importance of recycling and how it affects to the ocean life. I'm going to copy this prompt and generate a video so we can see how easy to use the NVIDIA artificial intelligence is. Now, on the other hand, speak about the picture without AI. The first time, the first uh, day that you are inside here is going to be asking you how to want to get started. Editing a video, adding subtitles to a video, summarizing a video using AI, creating a video college, or scripting it into a video. So what you can do are four things in here. For example, you can script to the video. You can use an educational video. You can use an actual script and you can just copy and paste it so you can create an actual video here. In the article video, what I can do is to look out for an article directly inside the URL, paste the URL, and those videos are going to be directly created, of course, into an actual video. Edit a video using the text is an actual tool that almost everybody has, and the visual to video just to drag and drop files into the browser of the computer. So as you can see, the ease of use between both of them are actually not that look alike, but I believe that the actual picture has more elements to get started with, rather than the actual end video that just only asks you to look how for a specific prompt and now it's going to be asking you for what kind of audience uh, looked and feel if it's going to be inspiring clean black whatever now the features and the templates when it comes to features and templates both platforms offers a variety of options in creating professional looking videos now, the in video boasts the best library of templates stock footage and music tracks while the picture focuses more a little bit more into simplicity with the fewer but highly customizable templates so what I'm going to be doing here is to look out for this kind of videos with an article and let's see what picture it does instead of any video.ai. Inside the in video.ai we only created an actual prompt. Into picture AI, we use this actual article from the actual ozoneconservancy.org so they can be using this information to create an actual video. Now let's see what the end video has created for us. In reality, when a bottle isn't recycled, its journey is far from over. It can take up to 450 years for a single plastic bottle to decompose. So I can tell you that so far, I believe it's more interesting to use this information, this video is more engaging rather than the pictory.ai. Which that brings us into the output quality. So, discussing the output quality, both in video and picture produce high quality videos, but some users report that the in video output is slightly better in terms of resolution and overall polish. The best thing is that they can be using an actual story blocks that come licensed to generate thousands and thousands of images that you can use for your actual videos. For example, I stuck enough energy and so much more which I think is really great for people who just want to focus into what matters most, which is creating, rather than just making research and all of that. InVideo offers an actual range of subscription plans starting from $20 per month. Even now, they have an actual business section. They have it free, of course, for anyone who wishes to try InVideo Editor. And lastly, on the other hand, Pictory offers something a little bit much more different. It has the startup plan, there's the professional plans, and there's the team plan. If you compare the startup plan that comes with an actual one user, 30 videos per month, 600 transcription minutes per month, 2 million royalty free premium, 34 text to speech languages, 5,000 music track, one brand kit, and YouTube Mastery Course uh, focuses this $19 per month with the actual business account from the in video, which in this case I have removable background, premium media, I stocked media, 6C HD video export, 
If you wanted to spend less stuff and create more videos, I believe that in video is the best resolution for you. So guys, now that you know which one is the best for you, then what you can do is you could try it out if you wanted to try it out with Pictory or with the actual end video. Now the Pictory comes with an actual free plan. Now the end video comes with an actual free plan and the Pictory has an actual free trial. So you can try it out both totally for free and figure out which one fits for you the best. With that information guys, we have just finished on figuring out which one is the best platform for you, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to figure out which one suits the best for you. So if you prefer a more affordable option with simplicity in mind, you can try Pictory, could be a better way to go. If you don't, you can try out with the end video. So whichever you chose, both platforms offer powerful tools for creating a stunning video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you want to see more great elements here inside TechPress. Thank you so much and hopefully we can all see you next time.